In today's episode, we'll be announcing another lockdown event. We'll also be looking into status effects and announcing the results of the rare frame contest. Hello tankers! Our final lockdown 3.0 event has just started. Starting today and continuing until June 1st, there will be increased battle funds and an experience multiplier in the game. And that's not all. Seven special missions lasting the whole event, as well as two daily missions every day will keep you entertained. Additionally, there are two special bundles in the shop. The first contains 50 regular and 50 ultra containers for a price of 6,000 tank coins. And the second one contains the Lime Paint, Ricochet XT and the Minus Field Stabilization Augment at half price. And don't forget that tanky birthday is coming with even more cool rewards. Over the past few episodes, we've been telling you how the status effects of the new hull augments work. This time we want to tell you about the new update of positive and negative effects indication. Firstly, you now know what augments your teammates or opponents have by seeing the effects a player leaves. For example, if you come across an opponent who just throws your teammate, you have no doubt you need to run away from that player or else you risk being slowed by freezing effects. Secondly, in addition to status effects, you will soon be able to see the status of other players' overdrives. If a wasp is driving straight at you, you will now be able to see if this player is intending just to drop a bomb in a kamikaze-like attack or if they will focus on attacking you solely with their turret. If the opponents see you don't have your bomb, they may think to themselves, a small tank with a bomb, take that away, what are you? Yeah, you're not Tony Stark. Remember when we told you about our updated HTML5 client? It seems everyone got confused, as we didn't specifically mention where to download it. Some of you even checked the official homepage, just to find that clicking the download button started downloading the old Flash client. The reason we haven't officially released the HTML5 client is because we're waiting for a special digital signature for the application. The signature causes antiviruses and operating systems on computers to not become alarmed when they see that the client application is being installed. Without this signature, your computer will recognize the application as potentially dangerous software and possibly will cancel the installation process as a result. Unfortunately, due to the current world situation, we've had to wait for the signature for a very long time, delaying the public release of the client. Good news, however, we have finally received the digital signature we needed. And in the very near future, we will finally make the download button on the main page of our website. Start loading the HTML5 client on your computer, instead of the old Flash one. Now, some may be wondering, why should I download and use the HTML5 client instead of the Flash version? Well, special missions are only available in the new version, and the new client has a wide array of better features, such as fixed camera mode, improved performance, and much more. Check it out shortly. Our helpers team have definitely not been relaxing during this quarantine and isolation. The April edition of the Rare Frame Contest, which we talked about a few vlogs ago, has recently concluded, and the results have been posted. Here's the best video of the ones we received in April. A video from the player, the Tankman 9000. Congratulations! This month you beat everyone. If you want to take part in this contest, follow the link in the description and send a cool video of your best moment through the special form. The Rare Frame Contest is still going on, and some great rewards are back at stake. A new setups tournament has just kicked off. According to the results of the test battles that were played, there have been some slight changes in the maps that will be played within the tournament. Kungur MM was replaced with Babruisk. With this relatively unfamiliar eSports map, it'll be interesting to see how clans perform. The majority of clans noted that this is one of the most dynamic maps in this format, and some traditional tactics may not work well in this map. With this being said, it will be very interesting to see how clans adjust to the changes and how well they can perform. Also, Tribute, which is an updated prototype of the very first map in the game, once again showed in the testing phase that it will lead to some very dynamic and intense gameplay. Watch the live streams on the eSports YouTube channel for the most interesting and hot battles. A minute of history. This year, a few of the same clans from last year are participating in this setup's tournament. 
such as Penguins, Eternity and Just Passing. Last year, Penguins managed to win the tournament, and they will definitely be a fierce competitor this year as well. Another interesting thing to note is that the third-place clan from last year's setups, Just Passing, has been moved into the second league, as their performance in the most recent MOTS clans tournament was not great. Will their demotion in leagues cause their morale to be low, negatively impacting their gameplay? Or will it fill Just Passing's members with a vengeance to retake their spot in first league? The matches will definitely tell. In other news, Blitz number 10, played in the hard format, has recently concluded, as well as this Blitz season. After the end of the season, the two best-rated clans have moved up in rank and have joined the clans in the second league. These teams are Team Pointers and Laws. Team Pointers is a clan full of eSports veterans and is led by a champion of the 11th clan championship, Mr. Vanka123 who is not only an eSports player, but also a YouTuber, whose videos have been seen in the vlog a couple of times. It is also worth noting that Mr. Vanka123 has managed to put together a strong roster, consisting of players such as Ilusha God, King of TP, and Image, each of which have won a clan championship in their past. Laws also have some strong players. Their captain is Laws Control, who during his esports career managed to take fourth place in the recent Clan Championship 12, playing with GoPro. Now he has his own team, which includes a player who won Clan Championship 12 and multiple TOF tournaments, MVP, as well as the player somehow who achieved second place in the 12th Clan Championship. Should the clans from the first and second leagues be worried by these clans? The favorites' initial matches against the new clans will definitely be intense. Time for the weekly YouTuber Digest, our weekly selection of the best created TO videos. This time we will be choosing from the YouTuber wannabe section. First, watch Stamina Gaming as he shares a gold box montage he made during the May Day celebrations. Did you guys like the celebrations? Let us know in the comments section down below. Second, Watch Graphics as he prepares a shaft montage and shows us a bunch of epic skill shots. <music> Lastly, watch Just the Beast finish the first May challenge. What will he get from his skin container? A quick reminder. If you want your videos to be featured in the vlog, then fill out the YouTuber wannabe form, which can be found in the video's description. Only 5% of you not only subscribed to the channel, but also clicked on the bell and chose to get all notifications. And these 5% of viewers never miss a single episode of the vlog. That's why they absolutely know that the second May challenge starts tomorrow. So if you haven't yet clicked on the bell below this video, then do it right now, and you'll never miss a thing. Bye. Last time, you had to guess where the purple wasp would stop moving. And the correct answer is 3. Here are our winners, and here's the next question.